Hi, welcome to Microbiology Mentor. Today, in quick concept series, we will be discussing about laboratory diagnosis of urinary tract infection. Urinary tract infections are some of the most common bacterial infections affecting around 150 million people each year worldwide. It is a significant cause of morbidity among all age group. Serious sequel arising out of urinary tract infection include frequent recurrence, pyelonephritis with sepsis as well as renal damage. Let's see some of the common defining terms related to urinary tract infections like pyuria which is defined as more than 10 WBCs per cubic mm per hyperfield. Bacteria which is defined as urinary pathogen of more than 10 raised to the power 5 colony forming unit per ml. Laboratory confirmed UTI is defined as pyuria plus bacteria. Asymptomatic bacteria is defined as bacteria in absence of genitourinary signs or symptoms which include dysuria, suprapubic pain or tenderness, frequency or urgency. Symptomatic UTI is defined as bacteria in the presence of genitourinary symptoms. Uncomplicated UTI is defined as genitourinary symptoms with evidence of pyuria plus bacteria in a structurally normal urinary tract. Complicated urinary tract infection is defined as occurring UTI occurring in a patient with structural or functional urinary tract abnormalities. Let's see the etiological agent of urinary tract infection out of the exhaustive list of the pathogens that cause urinary tract infection. The common one includes E. coli, Klebsiella pneumoniae, Proteus mirabilis, Enterococcus faecalis, and Staphylococcus saprophyticus. So, urine sample should be collected for the diagnosis of urinary tract infections and which can be collected either by a clean voided midstream urine collection or urine sample can be collected from a catheterized patient using a needle and syringe to collect urine through a catheter port after cleaning with an alcohol. Urine sample can also be collected from an ileal conduit or urine can also be collected by a suprapubic needle aspiration directly from the bladder. However, there are certain situations where a prosthetic massage sample should be collected like in cases of acute or chronic prostatitis and is processed as urine sample for the diagnosis of UTI. The urine sample which is collected should be sent to a laboratory as soon as possible. However, if the sample is cannot be sent to a laboratory within two hours of collection, it can be held up to 24 hours in a refrigerator but in no cases the sample should be frozen. However, there can be certain situation where the urine can sample cannot be refrigerated. In these situations, the sample can be collected in a transport tubes with some preservatives. Then there can be certain situations where the sample is either repeated or rejected. Let's see the sample situations where the sample is requested for a repeat. So there can be situation when there is no evidence of any refrigeration of the specimen which is of more than two hour old or when collection time and method of the collection of the urinary sample has not been provided. Then a urine sample can be rejected in certain situations like 
when a 24 hour collected urine sample is request is requested for a culture or a foley's catheter tip is sent for a culture which is an unacceptable sample for culture and not suitable for diagnosis of urinary tract infection or in certain situations where urine sample is collected from a uro bag of a uncatheterized patient so in these three situations the sample should be rejected and a uh, intimation to the physician should be immediately made now coming to sample processing urine sample which is collected must be inoculated using a calibrated loop for semi quantitative method this method provide an advantage for detecting the number of colony forming unit per ml at the same time it isolates the colony and provides the colony for performing a susceptibility testing the preferable media used for isolation of urine sample includes clad agar which stands for cysteine lactose electrolyte deficient agar the inoculated plate of clad agar should be incubated for overnight at 37 degree centigrade in an ambient air there is no benefit of incubating a culture plate for more than 24 hour duration so a practice of 48 hour duration request made by physician should be condemned regarding the reporting results for positive culture the plate should be examined for quantity as well as morphological type of the organism present the colony count of each morphotype in a culture plate should be determined and AST of the isolate should be performed however the culture plate should be held at room temperature for at least two to three days for a possible further workup if requested by the physician apart from these culture based techniques there are non culture based methods for detection of bacteria like the microscopic method in which bacteria can be detected microscopically using a gram stain either of a uncentrifuge urine sample or a centrifuge urine sample or direct observation of bacteria bacteria sorry bacteria in a urine specimen apart from that there are certain rapid urine screens for detection of bacteria as well as pus cells in the urine and a number of commercially available non culture based enzymatic methods are also available like catalase test oxidase test nitrate reductase test and leukocyte esterase test now coming to the limitations of performing a urine culture so a urine culture for a uncomplicated uti should not should be avoided preferably and a three day course of therapy is sufficient for the cure the culture and ast are useful in evaluating recurrent infections only in certain cases of sterile pyuria the gram stain is important the presentation of urinary tract infection can be sometimes misleading like in situations like of genital <coughs> infections apart from that there can be some certain situations where a false negative results can be there due to certain inhibiting substance in urine or when the urine is diluted or when the pH of urine is acidic or low or a prior antibiotic exposure. With this, I finish my talk of today regarding laboratory diagnosis of UTI. Thank you.